The ability to catch a ball is vital to play most games such as cricket, basketball, netball and rugby, as well as many playground games such as dodge. Children who are unable to catch are very obvious to their peers, therefore plenty of opportunities and time to play with balls is important. Catching involves significant coordination of both visual and motor processes. Catching should be observed in two phases, preparation and reception. Look at this proficient catcher. When preparing to catch the ball, the child moves their feet to place their body in line with the path of the incoming ball. The child moves easily forwards, backwards or sideways or up as necessary. Their eyes are focused on the ball as it travels towards them. Arms reach towards it and the hands easily adjust to the ball's size and path. While the fingers are soft and slightly cupped to the size. When receiving, notice the timing of the hand closure on the ball. Then the arms give to absorb the impact. The action is precise and well-timed. While children are still mastering this skill and are in the discovery or developing learning stage, some of the more common errors include hands and arms not adjusting to the size of the ball, using a scooping action to trap the ball into the chest, eyes closing, mistiming of the hand closure, not moving to the flight path of the ball, leaning forward with stiff arms and fingers to meet the ball, hands and fingers failing to grasp and close too late or too early. Learning to catch helps children gain confidence to participate in a range of other sports and games later on in life. At home, you can practice catching with different objects by yourself or with a friend. Eyes on the ball. Arms reach out to meet the ball. Fingers soft and slightly cupped. Elbows bend to absorb the impact. 